I haven't slept in days. Instead, I've spent every hour of my free time playing with this. This is the TK Lamp flashlight tester. Now as a super nerdy flashlight hobbyist guy, I'm actually very excited about this product. I think this is a really big deal. And if you're into flashlights at all, I really think you should know about this. Now, what is this? This is a portable laboratory calibrated integrating sphere that provides measurements for flashlight lumens and intensity. Here's an example. Supposedly, this flashlight is 1200 lumens. Let's test that. A little bit less than 1200, about 1060, 1050. How about this piece of junk? How bright is this guy? About 35 lumens. And that's what you get for not charging your batteries. Here's a light that I really enjoy using, but I have no idea how bright it is because there's no manufacturer specification. We can just throw this in here, and it looks like we're getting about 2300, 2400 lumens. Pretty neat. If you know anything about uh, measuring illumination devices, you'll know that proper integrating spheres are very big and very expensive, essentially inaccessible to hobbyists and gear reviewers. For a long time, other hobbyists have been building their own solutions and arguing online about whether or not they're actually accurate. This is a really big deal to me because this is, I think, the solution to those problems. This is something that allows hobbyists and reviewers to get accurate, repeatable numbers, and this is available to anyone who's interested in trying this out and providing numbers to the community. Also, as usual, I gotta give a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. However, TK Lamp did send this for free, for review, upon request, and I'm really grateful for them for doing that because this is a low volume product, and I don't think it was even released when they sent it to me initially. Um, so thank you very much to TK Lamp for this. Um, this is awesome, I've been having a lot of fun. Inside of this guy here, we've got uh, packaging stuff. In terms of physical features, this is very simple and it is designed to be very easy to use. We've got just the integrating sphere with three different sized apertures, connection for the AC power cable, and then a holder for two 18650 batteries because this is portable and can be battery operated, um, which is just really neat, I think. I haven't actually tested the battery life on this, but it seems to be very long. Then of course you can plug it in via AC, which is actually usually uh, how I use this thing. We do have included an intensity meter. So this is what you would use to measure candela. This is actually the same sensor that's at the bottom of the sphere there. Now the operation of this guy is dead simple, as you would hope. You turn the thing on and then you'll get two readouts here, one for uh, lumens and one for candela. The candela is for the other meter that you can plug into it. Up here at the top, you just open up the aperture, take your flashlight, place it over the sphere, make sure it's level with the opening, and turn it on, and boom, would you look at that? It tells you how many lumens you've got. Um, and that's basically it. There are three different aperture sizes that you can use. So if you take everything out and just have the top of it open, that's as wide as the aperture can be there. Then you have these two pieces. So this is just an aluminum piece that goes on top there. And then here's another smaller aluminum piece that threads onto that. And then there's this final plastic cap that just covers the whole thing. So that allows you to get a little bit more precise. Um, as you've got flashlights with different diameter heads, you can pick the aperture that will fit that most closely to minimize light loss and thus improve accuracy, at least uh, theoretically. And then of course you've got the candelometer. So you can mount this in a stable point and then measure the distance to one meter and get an accurate candela rating. There are actually some extra features here. This is surprisingly enough a touch screen and if you just tap that um, it'll cycle between just a candela mode and candela and lumen. You might see here up at the top it says V4.2. Um, if you tap on this logo this brings up a little pin so I actually talked to the rep uh, we had a phone conversation and she gave me a code that I can pop into here and actually get more into the settings of this product. It seems to be that there's an individual code for each individual integrating sphere that they ship. This isn't something that you're going to need to do unless you want to like recalibrate the sphere or something like that. Now of course one of the big issues with integrating spheres has always been the price. They are very expensive. Um, this is still an expensive product, but it's going to be much more attainable for hobbyists. So this is coming in at $400. Which again, that price is high, and I think it's going to make this unattainable for all but the most dedicated hobbyists. 
but um, for what it is, I think that is a very good price. This is of course an integrating sphere that actually is attainable. There are a couple of important limitations that you do need to be aware of with this. The first is the physical size and particularly the size of the aperture here. So as you can see, this is as wide as the aperture gets. And this right here, this is the Lumintop GT46950. This is pretty much exactly going to fill that aperture right there. Any larger, such as this light, the Manker MK38 is slightly wider. This is actually a little bit too big, so some of the light will get cut off here. The other issue is that this has a maximum level of 13,000 lumens that it can measure. So this is the Imlint SR32, one of the brightest flashlights in the world. This flashlight is rated for 120,000 lumens. And for one, as you can see, it's much too large for this aperture. Even so, if we turn this on here, you can see right there on the screen that is recording 12,643 lumens. And I found that that is where my particular unit maxes out. So here's another flashlight. This is claimed to be 20,000 lumens. And this one on turbo, you can see, also maxes out. Uh, the sensor. So that is one big limitation is that you can't measure over, in my case, 12,600 lumens. In addition to that, this is also not ideal for measuring super low modes. As you can see, there's no sub lumen count. It's only whole numbers. So if I'm measuring like a really dim flashlight, I don't get very much fine detail or control. So the difference between half a lumen one lumen, 1.4 lumens, you won't really be able to measure that. So that is another downside as well. I don't think that's a huge deal, but something to be aware of. Now there are some important things to note here regarding durability. So this is not just standard matte white paint. Uh, this is actually a special compound that reflects a wide range of wavelengths. It is kind of flaky and it's already sort of flaked off around the edges here. Over time, that is going to affect accuracy if you're not careful with this when you're messing with the aperture. Uh, so be mindful of that. Don't let anything touch this. Definitely don't like drop something in there. That, that would be bad. <laughs> See, this is the problem. I just dropped that in there while I was doing this video. That's an issue. Anyway, this is essentially a piece of measurement equipment. This is a sensitive instrument and you have to treat it as such. Construction wise, everything inside is fine. The sphere itself is made of aluminum very high quality. However, this case, clearly the TK lamp flashlight tester is meant to be portable and it is, but um, don't let this case mislead you. It's not very durable. I have not abused this thing at all and it's already got some dings and some dents in it. Considering the sensitive nature of the instrument inside, if you are going to be taking this to your next flashlight meetup, uh, just be careful. So in conclusion, it's a box with a sphere inside that tells you how bright things are. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is. It is expensive, um, but I think it does what it needs to do very well. Time will tell if this proves to be a popular solution, if this is something that other reviewers adopt so that we're all kind of on the same system. It's still limited, of course. It can't measure some of the lights, a lot of the lights, honestly, that I am interested in. Um, but I think as it is, it's a great product and I think it might even be a good stepping stone to some future, maybe bigger spheres. Either way, really cool. I really want to thank TK Lamp for sending this to me and for being patient because it took me forever to get this video out. And of course, I want to thank you for watching this. So if you found this video interesting at all, uh, maybe check out some of the other ones on this channel. I recently tested and reviewed the 46950 battery that is found in this and a couple of other flashlights. So. Go check that out. I hope you enjoy testing all of the flashlights that you get your hands on. Good lucks.